What's Cooking program nationwide, coast to coast, CRN Digital Talk Radio. Michael Horn and Paul Stern. Dennis Cake Bread is in studio from the great Cake Bread Cellars. And, um, boy, just during that break, Dennis was showing us. Is that on your website, Dennis, the uh, the video you showed us? You know, it's on a, a, what's called a micro site. And so I know for our technology challenged uh, partner here, this <laughs> might be interesting. But they're called micro sites. And yeah. so we developed one just for this wine so that you can go to it. So you go to www dancing bear ranch red dot com dancing bear ranch. red no dancing bear ranch ranch okay red dot com dancing bear ranch red red dot com yeah okay so dancing bear ranch red dot com all one word and it's the most amazing video you're going to see because it's named the dancing bear ranch because there's a bear a few bears that go around there and you will see what you believe looks like a guy in a bear suit it's so lifelike climbing over the fence and actually checking your grapes i guess they love to go in there bears love to eat grapes don't they well when they're ripe and so we only have a bear problem for about three weeks a year how do you keep them out of there well uh we're working on it still and uh-huh. so uh, I guess y- you'll, so. notice, you'll notice on the bottle it uh, shows the percentages of the different wines. And so this this 200-acre uh, ranch with almost 30 acres of vines is planted to Cabernet, Merlot, and Cab Franc. And so we put the percentages on the on the front label so you know what it is. Uh, in some of the early years, the Merlot is a little low. From because the bears seem to like the bears like this See, Merlot they don't section. Just check out sideways. They like the Merlot. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have more with Dennis. In fact, Dennis is going to help us because uh, coming up next, Mark Baldwin is here. He's a spokesperson for the great people over at Chick Fil A. They have some great food for you. Mark Baldwin, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks, guys. Mike Paul, how are you? Hey, I'm good. Just great. What's going on at Chick Fil A? This is like the new upcomer. I know on the West Coast, you've been around in other places. Are you nationwide now at Chick Fil A? We, well, we like to say that we are nationwide. We're in about 38, 38 states right now. We've got about 1,500 stores. So uh, in our mind, that's pretty much national. We reach all the way from where you guys are in California all the way to the East Coast, strong in Philadelphia, obviously strong in the Southeast. So for those that haven't heard about Chick-fil-A, and it's uh, uh, Chick, C-H-I-C-K, Filet, F-I-L-A, is that right? Correct. And, and so what do you find at Chick-fil-A if we drive in there and go into your restaurants? What do we find? Well, you find the original chicken sandwich. Our mm-hmm. founder, Truett Tassi, is he's known as the inventor of the chicken sandwich. Really? So uh, all these other imposters out there that you'll see uh, on every fast food menu board these days, well, they're all, st- all started on the knockoff idea that uh, Truett Tassi had way back in the 1960s. So it's Chick-fil-A has been around since 1960. And, uh, yep. and who invented this? Who's the person that invented it? It's Truett Tassi. Truett Tassi. And so yep. Truett Taffy invented the chicken sandwich. Like, I love this. And so what's in the chicken sandwich that you can tell us about? Otherwise, you know, you have to kill us if we know all the secret yeah, ingredients. Exactly. Yeah. If I, if, if I knew what was in there, I wouldn't have a job. Okay. Um, you know, we've got a, the recipe locked up in a safe here at our, our corporate office. But uh, it's a boneless breast of chicken. That's, uh, it, we hand bread our chicken right there in the store, every one of our stores. So it's not one of these where it comes in frozen and it's dropped into a fryer. Ours is uh, hand-breaded and milk-washed right there in the store, dropped into uh, what we call a pressure cooker, and then served on a toasted bun with uh, two crucial pickle chips. And uh, you've got to have the two pickle chips on there. That's oh, yeah. part of the recipe. you got to have the, 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 the pickle <laughs> chips are there. And this started where? Where were uh, True Taffy? Where did they start this? In the south? In the north? Where? Yeah, in Atlanta. In right Atlanta. In small, yeah, yeah. Yep, in the, the Atlanta suburb of Hake. Georgia, which is real close to the Atlanta airport. That's where Druid at that time had a uh, 24-hour diner called the Dwarf House, uh, just because it was so small. It had four tables and ten stools, and that was about it. Wow. But uh, it was a 24-hour diner, and it, back in those days, the uh, airlines, you know, they had trays, trade meals, and so they had extra chicken. So these two uh, processing people came, brought them over, and said, Druid, can you do anything with this at your restaurant? So he started tinkering with it. And I, lo and behold, came up with this chicken sandwich concept. And that was back in, it was a hamburger world at that time. You know, it was, everybody was all about burgers. So we said, why can't you put a piece of chicken between a bun? Unbelievable. In Atlanta, as we like to call it, Mark Baldwin is here from Chick-fil-A. You know, one of the things that I like about Chick-fil-A is that kind of the simplicity of it all, I think, comes across not only kind of uh, at its taste, but uh, I think the way people perceive it. People just like things that they understand and they can understand what it's made of. 
That's right. And people ask, why don't you have, and in fact, this is what we learned when we ventured out your way in California. People didn't understand why does it just come with the chicken and the two pickles? Why didn't it have any dressing on it or lettuce and tomato at least? So, although we do offer all that, we like to say that the beauty is in the, just the original sandwich. It is. Uh, just plain and true and let people add on to it as they want. Uh, and the other good thing about that is you save calories and fat. Every sandwich wow. on our menu is less than 500 calories. I like that. We, so this is, this makes a lot of sense then for those people that are counting the old calories. That's right. That's right. So we we, uh, we like people to dress their sandwich however it fits their uh, appetites and their dietary needs. So uh, you got plenty of choices at Chick-fil-A. So we were kind of like uh, smiling about this with the Dennis Cake, but as to what the wine would pair. But it sounds to me with a simple recipe like that, without all the sauces, what cake bread seller's uh, wine would you uh, pair with a Chick-fil-A original chicken sandwich, Dennis? You know, I don't know. Paul, Paul what would you do? Well, I'm thinking of a, a white, whether it be a Chardonnay or a Sauvignon Blanc. I think the, the white meat breast of chicken, I think, would pair well with the white wine. The pickle is going to throw you a little bit because they've got the pickle on there. And But I would definitely... I would uh, I would maybe go Sauvignon Blanc with this just because of the pickle would be, you know, maybe the the dill and stuff in there would get to the grassiness maybe of some of the Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, you never know. You know, if you added a little mustard to it. Mustard and Sauvignon Blanc is always a good... Mustard uh, would be great. A good match. And then um, Chardonnay. Chardonnay could work. Yeah, could Chardonnay some... chicken, you know, maybe a little spice. I guess you got to dress it up a little bit. I don't, yeah. I don't know about the pickles. It, you um, can take the pickles off if you're going just with the wine pairing, yeah. but uh, then you got Mark very upset with you. Am I right, Mark? Because well, you said that pickles are the key, you know, and I agree with sell, you here. We don't sell wine in the store, but we have perfect Dr. Pepper that goes along perfectly with it. There you go. That's I was thinking a little Diet Coke. I don't know if you're a uh, Coke or a Pepsi yeah. man, but I was thinking a little Absolutely. Diet Coke. So, so here's the thing, Mark. I'm just thinking for a night, you know, the, the fact that you've got the calorie count down on the Chick-fil-A makes it uh, inviting to go ahead and pair a little wine with it. If you, uh, you know, to go and take some home with you is what I would be doing. Yeah, you can splurge. What's the, we what's the brownies. website? What's the website so we can check it's out right. everything going and get the store locator on there for us? Sure, it's Chick-fil-A.com, and that's C-H-I-C-K hyphen F-I-L hyphen A dot com. So C H I C K hyphen F I L hyphen A dot com. That's right. And you got a store locator there and everything so we can find the nearest Chick fil A? Absolutely. And you're going to want to do that because two days from now, we're going to give you a chance to, if you haven't had Chick fil A ever, we're going to give you a chance to taste it for free with a small catch. What? You heard about our Cal Appreciation Day event? Cal Appreciation Day event? No, hang on. Tell us when we get back. I got to hear about this. Okay. Uh, Mark okay. Baldwin coming back. Stay with us on CRN. Come to